All right, so today we're gonna go check out a direct-to-garment printer. Uh, just took out some money from the bank. Um, not too sure if uh, this printer is gonna be worth it, but let's check it out. All right, so we just bought this printer back here. Got a pretty good deal on it. Might need a new print head. Uh, the guy really didn't know too much about it, so I'm gonna try to get it to work without having to get a new print head. Uh, it came with a, what did it come with? It came with a lot of extras, extra ink. It came with a laptop with the software in it. Um, it's pretty clean, uh, pretty nice. I've wanted one of these ever since I started printing like 14 years ago. Not even sure if they were around 14 years ago, but when I was aware of these DTG printers, I wanted one. So now I have one to make some money with it. What do you want to do? Wait, stop, let's stop. I got it, I got it. Hold on. I don't want you to pick it up from the middle because that's gonna throw us off balance. Oh. Pick it up. Okay, hold on. Sign in. Okay, let go. Other side. What was it? Okay. Are you sure this table can hold it? Probably not, but it's really hard. Okay, ready? Here, you come grab it from over here. This is easier over here. You have it? You have it. You go like that. Nice. So, yeah. For what? It prints shirts. Put the shirt in there and it prints like that for another one. You want it? You make some money with this, Dom. It's so bright in here. So sure to all your friends, okay? That's it. All right, so I got the printer all set up here. Uh, well, I just have it here on the desk. It's not really set up. I need to connect everything, see how everything goes. Um, the story on this printer is the person I bought it from, bought it from a screen print shop. It was working at the time. It was in the screen print shop. The person I bought it from was gonna use it as Kind of a side hustle um, they never really figured out how to use it um, it stayed it sat in a room uh, for a few months um, so we're not too sure about uh, the print heads the print heads might have to be changed uh, best case scenario i just got to clean everything out uh, do the the regular maintenance and it'll fire right up but worst case i might have to buy some print heads uh, for this unit this unit has three print heads, so um, we're looking at, at a nice chunk of change. So I'm going to go ahead and clean everything out and uh, try to figure out what's wrong with it, if anything. Um, the inside looks really clean. Um, I mean, th this unit, I mean, retails right now um, for like 10 G's used. Uh, brand new, this one was, I think it was like 15,000. I got a really good deal on it. I also uh, got also came with it came with the, the laptop with all the software in there uh, with the Anna rip software um, what else did I get? I got the, the pre-treatment uh, sprayer which is just like a like a paint sprayer uh, but it was like 20 30 bucks it came with it um, the DTG uh, pre-treatment spray um, I got some inks the inks are like less than half um, but uh like I said, I got a really good deal on it. Hopefully I don't have to do too much too much maintenance uh, before we get this thing running. I'm gonna make another video on the maintenance, what I have to do to it, how much money I have to put in before we actually start printing. So a side note on this printer here, I made some money in the stock market and it's like this printer kind of paid for itself. But what I'm gonna do is try to actually get this printer to pay for itself. So everything I print, every uh piece of profit that i make from this printer i'm not going to touch until this printer actually does pay for itself and then take that money and flip it into something else so i'm sure you can't tell from the video but this printer is huge a lot of the youtube videos i've seen on the printer itself um you can't really tell like the depth the the actual um size of it because it looks kind of small but when you're actually up close in person, this is a huge printer. It takes a big piece of the room. I really don't even have room for it. Uh, but I'm going to 
put it here in my my editing room where I edit everything and um, see if it makes us some money. So let's see what we have to do to it. Check out my next video and we'll check you on the next one. Don't forget to check out all my other screen print videos. Click the link in my description for screen print supplies on sale right now from Amazon and check you on the next one.